Hello everyone, finished update video. This time is a hat. I used leftovers from the bits that I have or got and if you haven't watched check this also video where I'm showing you an other hat that I knitted. I haven't mentioned but I cast on 100 stitches so this is the same thing. 100 stitches just in case you're asking. I'm just taking you a size. Okay I'm going to tell you of millimeters. So I took four millimeters, I presume it's US size six, and then I move on to 4.5 millimeters, which is US size seven. If I made that wrong, just check the comments, probably someone would correct me. So that's what I do. And basically I try to grab DK weight, worsted weight yarn, mix it together and see what that comes up. Obviously I would love to make it bigger, but if you don't have enough, then it's a smaller one. So this is that. I love it, it's a little cutie thingy and even though I'm wearing it and I'm 56 centimeters which is 22 inches my head circumference, I like to wear it this way and not this way. You know, the way you wear your hat also kind of tells you how big it should be on your head. If you just like to put it up, you have a nice fringe and stuff like that, you may not have it that big. Uh, you can pin it with some, pin it with some pins, hair pins, I think that's how we call it in like some vintage style, you know, I don't have a fringe that will not look great on me. <laughs> so I'm covering my forehead. Um, but I like really to cover my ears. I'm not a fan of having them up. Um, therefore, this is my number. That's why I like. Try it, go for it. Either you make it slightly bigger, slightly smaller. Believe me, there is a head somewhere in the world who would love to wear your hat. Just saying. <laughs> Anyway, so what did I use? Over here, as you can see, I have this yarn and I have a label for it. This is the Barocco Ultra Alpaca. So on the screen, I got this yarn from a friend and um, yeah, from Canada. So thank you so much for your leftovers. I love them so much. And I knitted uh, this hat, am I right? Did I knit the hat with it? I think I did. So this is Alpaca Wool 5050, right? And it is classified as, I think, DK. Ticker, because it's 215 yards, 198 meters. Like I said, I call 220 meters for a DK, so probably that would be like 230 something yards in my kind of my kind of brain, my kind of definition of it. So it's a little bit thicker and I did use four millimeters to a size six to do the one by one and then fold it and then I run out of yarn and you may thought that I will finish using yarn where where is the beginning of a yarn a marker so if you've never knitted a hat um maybe this on the screen just knit hat in the eye to check it out you just need one knit stitch and the back loop cast on method to knit that hat that you've seen on the screen using a bulky yarn but 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 if you have this yarn you can do it too just follow, just follow. If you have any questions, I'll help you. It's it's so easy hat. Um, and if you left-handed person, I will tell you to watch my um, washcloth tutorial for left hand because left-handed knitters because I'm showing you how to do a back loop castle method. Um, and basically then you do that in the round and, and I show you knit stitch and purl stitch. Although in a just knit hat, you don't need a purl. So even easier. But it's the same kind of principle, so if you've never tried knitting a hat, I would recommend you to try. You don't know what to get, just cast on 100 stitches and those needles that I said to you, you don't have to even switch, you can stay with one needle size and see what, well, how that comes up. Um, yeah, I just, I just did that because I have a fancy little tips that I can change on my needles. <laughs> and I wanted to have a, um, um, a body of the hat bigger. That's kind of my idea, although as you can see over here, it did not go that way. Why? Um, like I said, this is kind of DK, but it's kind of thicker yarn. And then we're going into the thinner yarn, which is actually DK DK. Um, with this one, I actually, those two colors, it's one little ball that I had left over from uh, this hat. Hopefully I have it on the screen. And this hat travels the world. I actually gifted it away if you want to see it. I'm not sure I don't, I may not have a permission to shared Instagram profile of the person. 
So yeah, follow me on Instagram. If I see this hat somewhere, I'm definitely <laughs> share it on my stories because that was the deal. I'm get always gifting the hat because I can travel around the world with it. <laughs> it's just not on my head, but yeah. We can't have everything. So yeah, this is it. And this yarn I got with Knit Crate boxes that maybe lately I've opened on the screen. You can see it in November, I know it's January, um, box. And it um, every month and something else you may get. And uh, that November month, 2020 was really brilliant because there was a four 50 grams worsted weight yarn. So <sighs> perfect to make a hat or color work in a sweater. Just a thought. And what I did over here, I just continue that. You may see those um, kind of lovely bits and I just what I did, if you ever wondered what to do, I recommend you to watch a this finished object video. I know it's a sock, but I'm showing you in case you are just knitting with self-striping yarn and you want to have some this thing going on, how to do it. You do not look at the beginning of the round marker. You look at the moment that the yarn changes color. I hope you're triggered and you're going to watch Alpha's video <laughs> later on. So yeah, that's what I did. And then I run out of it and I did exactly the same thing over here. This, I just slipped stitches. And this is the same thing, just saying straight away. Um, and this yarn and this yarn are the same. And I think I got it, ooh, maybe five or six years ago from my friend and a dentist. I'm not sure that she remembers, but I made a hairband. I was looking for it to show you all, but it's not even on Ravel. You're not on Instagram or anywhere else, unless it's a very old channel that I have. Maybe I put over that. I don't know. And I, I can't find it, so I know maybe I gift it away. But I knitted a handband from it. I got, I think, two 50 gram balls. And I presume it was some drops um, yarn. And I presume it was like 100% merino or very high merino content. In it so yes those are the leftovers and then I ask you shall I mix things up and I just put some little bits off um, any ends when you have to uh, add a yarn and you have those ends to wave in I just cut it and I put it into my plastic bag and then you can make a pump pump from it so uh, that's what I did over here I mixed uh, loads of as you can see not the colors that I used just random stuff from there and I put on and at the end last finish I put a tag you may find some tags in my shop whatever it's there is there and that's how long I have it that's how long I'm going to have it over there if that makes sense and these hearts these empty ones were a tags from 2019 I don't have them in the shop I have 2020 but what I did I just cut um, the year and how I did that I just lined it up nicely Make sure that the top of the heart lined up with the bottom of the heart and then I cut it off. Then I put the, there's one hole in the tag that I just, once it was folded, I put the needle through and I poked it in. So I, that's created a second hole on the other side and it's created a nice tag. So I'm saying if you have any of those tags for me, because I was very eager to give it away in 2020 as an extras, like, something bonuses in the order orders um so yeah go for it as you can see it looks pretty cool so i would suggest it to put it quite high up over here so i'm pleased with this hat and you may notice also there's some bubbles going on and what's that about um well <laughs> i just wanted to play it a little bit as you can see i love bubbles this is my first ever sweater design i haven't hopefully I'll have it published soon so definitely check my links down below to Reverly Etsy um, because once my test and test finish I will publish it so yeah and it is very addictive bubble because it's not a center bubble that you have to turn to work like I always said it is I call it Barbara's bubble because I come up with it uh, um, a while back and I basically use it for everything <laughs> And so this is what I did over here. I did make some bubbles over here, over here, and a bit here and there just to spice things up. And I really like it. Let me know what do you think about this hat. Seriously. And it looks like this. Tiny little thing. And I presume it will fit even a child. So I love it so much. I'm going to put it to my gift giveaway box. Because yes, I, whatever I'm knitting, I'm putting in the box. 
and we shall see either i'll wear it or i will keep it for next christmas so someone will get it i hope i'm inspiring you to go through your stash and see what kind of leftovers you have and as you can see just play with it and uh, you can definitely knit a hat in two three days few hours during the evening and you're sorted tag me if you do and i hope to see you in the next one bye